Have we ever seen anything quite like her? She's a phenomenon, an icon, a legend. Ladies and gentlemen, Serena Williams. Serena Williams has been the name on every tennis fan's lips for a long time and time after time has shown the world that she is the best female tennis player of this generation. In fact, one could argue that she is one of the top female athletes in all sports. She would undoubtedly perform amazing feats with a soccer ball if you gave it to her. Serena Williams is a well-respected player in the tennis community, as everybody knows the Williams sisters' story. They are one of the most talked about families among fans and players alike. Players retired and still playing always have something to say about the tennis great Serena Williams as she draws most of the attention. Most see her more as a GOAT, surpassing the legend status. Let's kick things off by starting with her sister, Venus. These two were a threat to the doubles tennis community, hence they could be regarded as one of the greatest ever female doubles matchups, winning 14 Grand Slams and 22 titles in total. The duo was referred to as the Williams sisters. They didn't have any catchy names like that of Anna Kornikova and Martina Higgins, who referred to themselves as the Spice Girls of Tennis. There has always been no feeling of hatred between the two sisters, despite coming up against each other many times on their singles journey. The two have played against each other professionally 31 times between 98 to 2020, most times serene has emerged as the winner against her elder sister with a total of 19 victories. Their first professional matchup was in the second round of the 1998 Australian Open, which Venus won. Venus and Serena are very different in their styles of play and can be considered as two sides of the same coin when it comes to their style of play. They are like the yin-yang of tennis, with Venus labelled as a passive player, while Serena is referred to as aggressive. This made them the perfect combination for a double team, with the sisters being able to complement each other in their game. We make each other better, and we bring out the best when we play each other, and it's what we do, so... Despite Venus being older than Serena, she has always shown respect for her sister on the court and in interviews. She refers to Serena as the boss, saying we do whatever Serena tells us. There has always been a non-stop argument about who is better between Serena and Venus, but the elder sister has always said she is just here to have fun, play the game she loves. However, the stats don't lie, as Venus has only 7 Grand Slam singles titles compared to Serena's 23. However, in quoting Serena's words, there would be no Serena without Venus, Venus had to run for Serena to fly. I wouldn't be Serena if it wasn't Venus. So, thank you, Venus. Maria Sharapova is one player that has been able to get under Serena's skin. There is no feeling of love shared between these two players, and it is obvious they clearly don't like each other. Serena and Maria's rivalry was so lopsided that it should not be described as a rivalry at all, but rather as a beef. These two players have been at odds both on and off the court. Serena was a constant thorn in the Russian's flesh. Maria's popularity in tennis peaked at the time when Serena was at her prime. Their first matchup was at the round of 16 of the Miami Open, which Serena won comfortably 6-4, 6-3. However, Maria then went on to a two-match winning streak against Serena, eliminating her in Wimbledon and WTA finals in 2004. Shockingly, these are the only victories Maria has recorded in open play against Serena. The other was a walkover at the 2018 French Open, as Serena pulled out the competition before their matchup due to injury. Right now, I can't actually serve, so... It's kind of hard to play when I can't physically serve. The pair have come up against each other 22 times on their tour, Wimbledon and WTA finals in 200A, emerging victorious 20 times to Maria's two. Talk about mismatched rivalry. Despite Serena's dominance over Maria, the Russian has always been able to push Serena's buttons. The American once took a swipe at a player in an interview, saying, she begins every interview with, I'm so happy, I'm so lucky, it's so boring. She's still not going to be invited to the call parties. Maria instantly assumed that Serena was talking about her, as Maria was dating Serena's ex Grigor Dimitrov at the time. Serena later publicly apologised to Maria, thus confirming people's thoughts that her initial statement was about Maria. The Russian did respond saying, I have a tremendous amount of respect for Serena, it's nothing personal. You know, honestly I have a tremendous amount of respect for Serena and what, what she's achieved on the court. You can never take anything away from that. But the Russian didn't let things die down without taking a slight dig at Serena, saying, if Serena wants to talk about something personal, she should talk about her relationship and her boyfriend who was married, who is getting a divorce and has kids. She was clearly referring to Patrick Moratoglu, Serena's coach at the time, as there were rumours that the two were romantically involved. 20-time Grand Slam winner Roger Federer has always expressed his admiration for Serena. The Swiss in an interview referred to her as one of the greatest, if not the greatest of all time. He didn't just refer to her as one of the greatest in women's tennis, but in the game overall. His showers of praise didn't just end there, as he also referred to her as a game-changer, calling it the ultimate compliment a player could get. 
Not known to many fans, Roger and Serena have played against each other in a match described as the Battle of the Tennis Legends. The once-in-a-lifetime match was a mixed doubles clash between Switzerland and the United States in the Hoffman Cup. Roger Federer and Belinda Beckick represented Switzerland, while Francis Tafoe was paired with Serena for the US. The match ended in a Swiss victory with Roger smashing home a volley during the tiebreak. The two legends showed nothing but respect for each other, with Federer saying he has always wanted to have a taste of the powerful Serena serve everyone talks about. The young American Coco Goff sets the perfect example of the upcoming generation of players embodying the greatness of Serena. The wonderkind referred to Serena as her idol, praising her for her excelling in a sport that is predominantly white. Because I saw somebody look like me dominating the game and it made me believe that I could dominate too. Coco's interest in tennis can be attributed to Serena after she watched Serena take down Dinara Safina for the 2009 Australian title when she was four years old. She has continued to do so ever since, imitating her fellow countrywoman. The level of admiration Coco has for Serena is clear for all to see as she doesn't shy away from saying good things about her. It's just the way she carries herself. She never puts herself down. I love how she always elevates herself. She also added that Serena taught herself not to settle for less, which is something that is vital for a young black woman coming up in the tennis scene. Once referred to as the queen of the court before being dethroned by Serena, the German Steffi Graf was the highest Grand Slam title winner in the Open era with her 22 Grand Slam victories. That all ended at the 2017 Australian Open when Serena defeated Venus in a 6-4, 6-4 victory to earn her 23rd major Grand Slam, thereby surpassing Graf. Steffi has always shown support for Serena from time to time as she still keeps herself updated with the sport. When Serena equaled Steffi's record at the 2016 Wimbledon, she received lots of praise from the German. Graf took to her Facebook to pay her respect to the American, describing Serena as a gift to the sport. She wrote on her Facebook, What an incredible performance by Serena at Wimbledon. What a gift to all sport fans who get to continue to watch her add to an already amazing career. Have a career and play at the level that she's been playing is pretty unbelievable. I have so much respect. Serena's career has been nothing but amazing, and it feels so good when one legend recognizes another. Supporters and non supporters of tennis know of the name Serena Williams, and her popularity has cut across different parts of the entertainment and sports industry. The American is more than an icon, as she has given also a new dimension to the tennis sport, and her presence in the game has attracted a lot of new supporters. Serena began her professional career when she was 14 years old, with her first pro event being the Bell Challenge in Quebec. Her first few pro matches ended in defeat and was ranked number 304 in 1996, but that was just a brief spell in her career as things slowly started kicking off. At such a young age, Serena was something as a giant killer, as she made the habit of eliminating players whose ranks were higher than hers. She removed world number 4 Monica Seles and world number 7 Mary Pierce at the Ameritech Cup. This little stint of magic from the young American earned her the feat of being the lowest ranked player to win two top 10 ranked opponents in one tournament. Her first ever Grand Slam match victory came at the 1998 Australia Open, defeating Irina Spirlea from Romania in the first round before being knocked out by Venus, her sister. She went on to win the US Open the following year, while being inspired by the home fans, proving that this setback was only a stepping stone to success. She defeated Martina Hingis of Switzerland, making her the sixth youngest female Grand Slam winner at 17 years and 350 days. Surprisingly, the feat of youngest ever Grand Slam winner was held by her opponent, Martina Higgins, who won the 1997 Australian Open at 16 years and 117 days. 